गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द कंटिन्यूएशन विद द वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑन मोशन इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन टुडे वीडियो इज बेस्ड ऑन द न्यूमरिकल्स ऑफ रिलेटिव मोशन सो रीड द न्यूमरिकल्स एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चंस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट गिवेन अबाउट द टॉट पोर्सन सो स्टूडेंट्स द फर्स्ट न्यूमरिकल इज ए जेट एयरप्लेन ट्रैवलिंग एट ए स्पीड ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पर आवर ए जेट एयरप्लेन इज ट्रैवलिंग विद ए स्पीड ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पर आवर इजेक्ट्स इट्स फ्यूएल एट ए स्पीड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ कंबसन मीन्स फ्यूएल इजेक्ट्स इट्स फ्यूएल at the speed of 1500 km per hour relative to jet plane means the speed of fuel with respect to jet plane is given and you have to calculate the speed of the fuel this is latter means this is fuel the speed of the fuel with respect to the observer on ground means you have to calculate the speed of the fuel with respect to the ground so let us try to solve this question <clears throat> solution the velocity of jet plane with respect to the ground it is given and it is 500 km per hour it is given and all the data is given in the question is in km per hour so no need for conversion now the speed of suppose jet plane is moving in this direction jet plane is moving in this direction so the fuel which ejected by the jet plane is opposite direction to the motion of the jet plane so it should be taken as negative so velocity of fuel or product with respect to jet plane is minus 1500 km per hour so you have to find the velocity of product with respect to ground as simple as that velocity of product with respect to jet plane is equal to velocity of product with respect to ground minus velocity of airplane with respect to ground and you have to find the velocity of product with respect to ground and it is equal to velocity of product with the jet plane plus velocity of jet plane with respect to ground and it is given that velocity of product with respect to ground it is minus 1500 km per hour plus 500 km per hour and velocity of product with respect to ground is minus 1000 km per hour and the negative sign shows that the direction of product of combustion of fuel is opposite to the aeroplane negative sign shows that direction of fuel is opposite to z plane direction of fuel is opposite to the jet plane now the next question we will go to the next question yes students dear students look at the next question the next question is a police van is moving on the highway 
with a speed of 30 km per hour. The police van is moving with a speed of 30 km per hour and from his van, from the police van, the police had fired a bullet at a thief's car speeding away in the same direction with a speed of 192 km per hour. The thief's car is speeding away 192 km per hour and the police van fires a bullet on the thief's car. Means the net speed of the bullet can be calculated with the 30 km per hour plus if the muzzle speed of the bullet is 150 meter per second then you have to convert 150 meter per second with kilometer per hour so the net speed this plus this is the net speed for the bullet with what speed does the bullet hit the thief's car now you have to find the speed of the bullet with respect to thief's car you have to find the speed of the bullet with respect to thief's car clear students so we are going to solve this question speed of bullet it is given v is equal to 150 meter per second it means that 150 into 18 upon 5 kilometer per hour it means to say that 540 kilometer per hour in the speed of bullet speed of police van with respect to ground the speed of police van with respect to ground and it is 30 km per hour speed of thief's car one hundred ninety two kilometer per hour one hundred ninety two kilometer per hour now the bullet is sharing the velocity of police van so effective velocity of bullet effective velocity of bullet effective velocity of bullet velocity of bullet with respect to ground is equal to velocity of bullet plus velocity of police car with respect to ground and it is equal to 540 plus 30 km per hour and it is equal to 570 km per hour 570 km per hour that is the effective velocity of bullet now we have to calculate the speed of bullet with respect to thief's car the speed of bullet with respect to thief's car speed of bullet with respect to thieves car 
speed of bullet with respect to ground minus speed of tips car with respect to ground. The speed of bullet with respect to ground 570 km per hour minus 192 km per hour and it is equal to 378 km per hour 378 km per hour is the speed of bullet with respect to tips now moving to the next question dear students there is a question. Look at the question. On a two-lane road, there is two-lane road and car is traveling with a speed of 36 km per hour. The speed of car is A is given. Two car B and C approaches car A in opposite direction. This is a two-lane road and car A is moving in this direction and car B and car C. This is car B and this is car C. Approaches car A in opposite direction with the speed. Both have B and C have a speed of 54 <laughs> km per hour. At a certain instant when the distance AB when the distance AB is equal to AC that is both the distances are 1 km the separation between AB and AC become 1 km. B decides to overtake A. B decides to overtake A before C does. Before C does. Means before C, B decides to overtake the car A. What is the minimum acceleration of car B? What is the minimum acceleration of car B in such a way that there should not be an accident between car B and car C. So, what should be the minimum acceleration of car B? So, first of all, we have to calculate the time available for crossing B and C. So, before that, we have to calculate the relative velocity of B with respect to A and C with respect to A. And then, we will find the acceleration by the equation of motion. So look at here students. Velocity of car A. This is solution. Velocity of car A. Velocity of car A 36 kilometer 36 kilometer per hour it means 10 meter per second. Velocity of car B or C it is equal to 54 kilometer per hour and it is 15 meter per second. Now relative velocity of B relative velocity of B with respect to A V B minus V A V B minus V A means fifteen minus ten meter that is equal to five meter per second velocity of c relative velocity of c with respect to a a that is vc minus v a vc minus v a so vc is also traveling with 15 minus minus 10 
मीटर पर सेकेंड बिकॉज बोथ आर इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन तो इफ वन डायरेक्शन वी आर टेकिंग पॉजिटिव दैन अदर डायरेक्शन वी मस्ट हैव टू टेक निगेटिव एंड इट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर इट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए सी इट इज गिवेन द क्वेश्चन ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए सी इज इक्वल टू वन किलोमीटर दैट इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड मीटर नाउ टाइम अवेलेबल टाइम अवेलेबल फॉर बी और सी टू क्रॉस ए टाइम अवेलेबल तो टी इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड मीटर अपॉन ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी सेकेंड Now, if car B accelerates with acceleration a to cross a before c dash, so we have to calculate the acceleration. If car B accelerates. With acceleration a with acceleration a to cross a before c dash then Speed of car B with respect to a five meter per second we had calculated. T is equal to forty second, and x is equal to hundred meter. Then k is equal to half word. The so x is equal to u t plus half a t square. So this is one thousand meter, one kilometer, na? So one thousand meter. 1000 meter is equal to 5 meter per second into 40 second plus half acceleration we have to find and 40 second square and it is equal to 1000 minus 200. Is equal to 800 e, or acceleration is equal to one meter per second square. Means if car B accelerates itself with one meter per second square, then before collision it will cross car A. So this is the solution. So students. this is all for today's video and in the next video we will discuss scalar and vectors so thank you students take care and have a nice day